What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're going to be talking about the new event that we've had time to kind of play around with, see what's going on, Crystal Clash. Now, it does still have a beta tag up here, so it seems like it might be something that does return, however, it can be a little confusing. I think first and foremost, no matter what an event it looks like, this is the kind of feedback I feel like to Lilith games when you have rewards and you think you're in a good spot double it <laughs> I mean I, honestly I, I the rewards well nice just again still feel like they're not quite enough I think each one of these should be two stargazes two stellar crystals on each one of these uh, giving us a grand total of 10 these should be 10 a piece everything should just be doubled in my opinion double everything if you think you're in a good spot Double it, we'll be in a better position. Uh, to be honest though, this is not a bad store. It is a decent one and you're going to be acquiring these crystal shards from this game mode. Now, there are a couple things to remember. When you do go find a geode and you can only refresh it three times, you want to try to find one that is the highest possible. I found one that was like 1300. Other people have found others that are lower. You'll notice in your friends list and everything, people are plundering ones. They find ones for defense up to like 1390. And yes, depending on how high your number is, uh, will depend on what you actually find. So going out in the world is kind of interesting because you can find places to either fight or defend in this uh, situation you see here. We got one attack. Uh, only a little bit was plundered off of our team. This is a team setup as well. And you can kind of see people that did attack and they did take some of our resources but by doing that and defending we now get resources now this is pretty much what you guys saw at the very beginning when it first went live you want to now go defend however you can only defend one time per day so even though we already got our resources we can't do this again until tomorrow after reset so just remember when you do go defend you want to try to find the strongest one possible that you think you can defend because again Part of this too is people can attack your nodes and plunder resources. So you want to try to find the most powerful ones out in the world possible. You can see right here, there's a 420. Nice. Uh, and you can see as you go up, there are more and more defensive positions. I think the most I've seen so far is four defensive positions on the outer band, three on the inner, and then of course the main one. And you can see the people who are protecting it. You wanna to try to find the highest priority ones because those are gonna be worth the most. And with that, we need to talk about plundering. So you can plunder a grand total of 15 different crystal geodes that other people are defending every single day but you'll only receive crystal shards from your top three highest ones so you can see right here i've done two of them the third one i kind of just let go uh but we do want to actually fight and go in on this we want to try to plunder as much as possible you can see how much time is left on their defense we're going to go ahead and try to plunder it so you can always give assist heroes to other people as well if you have a teammate you can of course uh invite another ally you can just you know Plane, just invite your guild if you want people to try to help you out you can you know hit your guild mates directly through invites and you can do this as a team you don't need to you can do it solo and that's what i've done so far is i have run this completely solo now you will notice here the defenses are sometimes a little weak it just depends on who the defender is uh, each one of these locations will have battlefield bonuses. In this one, there's absolutely none. And there's a multiplier. You want to try to use as many different teams as possible. That way you get a higher bonus on your earnings. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that. You don't want to just chuck in your strongest team right away. I want to try to use some heroes that, honestly, I don't usually use. So if I can use heroes and a team similar to like this right here... That's going to be really, really good for us. If I can do this and I can still beat that team, that means these five heroes count towards our deploy, deploy bonus. And again, you want to try to beat this with as inexpensive as a team as possible and using maybe team that you don't normally use, but can still potentially get a win with. So you can see like right here, we might pull out a victory. Uh, it's a little sketchy. So yeah, it doesn't always work out. You need to try to find teams that still have some synergy. Uh, but you can see right here, now that we've gone in, I want to show you guys what happens. You don't necessarily lose the heroes or anything. Uh, I think this just might modify your like win bonus essentially. So you might not be able to get as much of a bonus off of something like this. Uh, but again, 
Honestly, I kind of want to do this right here. Let him do energy first. We need to just chuck in heroes that we want to use and maybe not use in other battles. So you can see right here, we're going to try to get this going here. The Thorin is a really good defensive hero, to be honest. <laughs> really, really good defensive hero because he can just wipe out entire teams. But yeah, you essentially want to try to plunder. You want to win as easily as possible. And when you do win, you're going to get... A bunch more of these crystals and you can see here how many crystals are up for each of these nodes each one of these only is going to give us a bonus 10 but again we're going for multipliers here that is the whole takeaway that we want and again we want to try to use heroes that haven't been used those are going to be ones that have the little star above their head so maybe doing a team that we're not used to running as much like uh more I don't know offensive oriented team that might be able to burst through all this might actually end up being pretty solid uh, just doing something like two and again it's not like a bad thing if you for some reason don't actually get the win you just go back you try again you just have a certain limited amount of time to do this and we do want to keep using as many heroes as possible even if they're not ones that are going to make a huge impact in the battle maybe put one super strong hero at the front and then a bunch of just fodder heroes in the back if you don't feel like you need it and that'll be in a good spot so again we're going to continue just using all of our heroes at the bottom of this list That'd be kind of crazy if we could actually use like super low tier heroes right here. So we could put like a Walker, a Parisa, a Salazar. What if we can we actually get away with using Hammy and Chippy? That would be pretty insane if we could. That would be funny. I don't think we're going to be able to though. <laughs> this one lineup's a little bit stronger right here. So we can't go too meme style. But again, like I was saying, you can use something um, maybe a little less traditional that you're using. You could use a team that has a little bit more powerful heroes or weaker heroes. Again, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm trying to search around, find heroes that I don't feel like I'm going to miss out using on in other scenarios. And then you can run something like this. We can continue to run that. And just see what you can get away with uh, as far as ease of team composition. Again, some of these are going to be really difficult to win if they have, like like here, it's just a three hero combo, but that three hero combo is pretty much the combo most people use in PvP. So you might need to use something a little bit more advanced. But again, just try to do the best you can. You are limited on time overall, but it's not a huge, huge downside here. Uh, maybe we can go with a faction bonus here and then instead of doing stuff like that i wonder if we throw in some additional heroes heck we can probably throw our thorin in too and then maybe just I mean, we could throw a carolina in too this could end up a lot better uh you have the advantage being on offense because you can also have a teammate which is nice as well but again really going up against these teams you some of them even if they only have three heroes they have the they have the advantage by being on defense so that is one of the big things is you might have to actually use more heroes that you don't traditionally use. But you can see here, I'm kind of falling flat. I'm not having any good luck here. So I'm probably going to go with my own strategy of trying to beat them. I actually might do something interesting. I'm going to put Alsa in the back here. We need a lot of burst, so I'm also going to include some of the tree and stuff. Because, again, you can reuse these heroes. Remember, you can reuse these heroes. It's just they're not going to go towards the bonus. So you have to try to find when and where you can. Uh, looks like interesting. You can see cooldown timers on stuff, too. But going on offense is definitely a hard fight. And the other advantage you have being on uh defense too is you're getting like you can actually use any item i think you can do that with offense as well uh but it's just really really interesting to see how this works out it doesn't matter how many tries you take you saw right there you can plunder and then again we're now going against more difficult teams so even if we can't keep going for the bonus uh you can use these assist heroes that i guess i now have a teammate maybe Yep, so one of my guild mates you can see joined, and now we can try to do this together. You can use assist heroes in your lineup as well, uh, which is kind of cool. So it says, you can use your teammates' assist heroes in battle. Each assisting hero can only be used once in each plunder. So I think what they are, they're more like active buttons. They're not ones you actually place on the battlefield, which is pretty interesting. It's definitely, definitely interesting. Uh, I feel like we might have to go up against this with more traditional teams. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to start slotting in these heroes here. We're going to start using them a little bit more like we normally would. Get a Smokey in here. We haven't used Smokey. Throw a Scarleta in. We will use our own plus 25. Although actually, let's do this. 
Uh, and yeah, we want to try to use as many as possible to get as high of a bonus as possible. But if you can't get the, the full bonus, that's fine too. You're going to have plenty of days to do this. So it's not like a huge downfall. And maybe Google finding a different place will be a better option as well. Because, you know, you can plunder up to 15 different locations. And you're going to get the best three every single day out of all those. You can see right here, all of those heroes had ultimates to cast. But if you don't need to use it, save it and keep moving on so we're going to keep just trying to go through and again we're up to now 21 of 24 so if i can try to use like three heroes i haven't used just yet that would be kind of cool maybe i should use like my summoner squad here do something like this and we could do oh actually you know what i don't want to try to do something different got like a barrel here as well i can't place him closer I guess we just do something more along these lines. We still have a Coco potentially. Let's see if our, our team can work. And again, you can pop any of these at any one, one time. I'll show you guys what it looks like here. We got our Summer Squad. I feel like I might want to go with a Haywin Heal. Although, oof, that did not turn out well for us. So let's not go with a Summoner team. Let's try to go with maybe a Magic Damage Dealer team. And we'll go with something along the lines of a Speedy Coco we could run magic damage dealers like Odie. actually you know we could do like a mauler type of team right here go with a shakir and everything this could actually work out decently and then let's see we might have to use the assist hero let's see what happens this depends on if our team goes down too fast i feel like we might want the heal on this team because we don't have healers or we might, just might not need it at all at this point But let's heal with the Haywin. So you can see right here, you basically just to like, you know, you get to basically cast it from anywhere and then she'll jump to the battlefield and she'll do a giant heal. And you can see one of them disappeared. You still have two more to go. Uh, so still a pretty cool strategy. Uh, and again, looks like our teammate is fighting here. So let me let the teammate fight, see what happens. And then we'll come back for the final battle. Okay, so it looks like our teammate got the victory. So let's move on. Let's go for the final battle. Uh, if we could use three additional heroes, that would be cool. But honestly, I'm not expecting to be able to do that. We can try to do it. So let's try to find some sort of team that would work. So we need one other hero that we haven't used just yet. Honestly, Damien, another healer. It looks like that would be a really good strategy to have. Maybe doing something like this. So we have a lot of support. And then we can use one more hero that we currently already are using. So in reality, we could do something like this. We can throw some additional tankiness here, maybe. Let's see if this works out. And of course, remember, we still have... Uh, you're about to challenge enemy's core defense to damage dealt to the crit score. And damage to simply impact your final score. So yeah, you want to be able to try to do as much damage as possible here. And again, we have a heal. And we also have some damage here if we need it. Um, and we're kind of going all in on our Taylene strategy here. So let's see what happens. I think we're going to use one of these ultimates here. The Arden one I think we're going to do. So we get a little extra damage. We get a little extra CC. And let's see what happens with this. We have beaten a lot of the front line there. Ooh, it's getting a little sketchy. It's getting a little sketchy. So yeah, maybe this team isn't as good. I think what I'm going to do is say, forget the extra big bonus. And I'm just going to go with a more stock team that I'm used to using. Because usually we need a very specific team on this to do really good damage. And uh, this right here is really, really important. The course HP will not drop below 40% until all defending enemy heroes go down. So you do have to still fo focus on that right there. Uh, the other hero I like throwing in this a lot of times is like Olmus. Let's see how this turns out. Let's go. We still have two assists as well. So we can try to get the best score possible. We just really need to try to keep our Smokey alive. Oh, it's getting sketchy. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we I think we kind of balanced out. Nope. <laughs> the Thorin. Okay, let's be honest, guys. Thorin is one of the best defensive heroes in this game mode. It's absolutely disgusting. Defending heroes HP is increased by 30% and their attack is also increased by 15%, which is pretty nuts. I wonder if we have to go with a more crowd control centric type team. But still go with Taylene, because I still like running Taylene. I want to run Smokey. I want to run Haywin, and I think this is going to be the squad we try to run. Something like this. 
Let's see what happens. I want to just try to keep them a little bit more controlled. Keep them a little further away from our support heroes in the back. Because I'm really afraid of the Thorin more than anything else on this battlefield. Taylene gets to jump back. Smokey gets a good heal. If we lose some front line, that's not bad. But again, Olmes Aaron is going to keep them locked down pretty well. To make sure our healers stay up so they can keep chain healing the Taylene, which is perfect. And okay, so now we're just down to this target here. And it looks like we're going to be able to take it out. So we got an additional 360. You want to be able to beat it fully. You want to destroy it, get it completely cleared out. See right there, we got 100% of the plunder earnings. And then you can see, final report, what we did. We got a bonus of 1.35, which means we got 567 off of this, which is good. Uh, so you can jump back in over here. I know this is a longer video, but going through this is important. You can now see these are our top three. If I continue on and get more in the 500s, then that will be added to this list. And you can see if you did it solo or with a teammate. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. It's going to be an interesting one to try. You have to get out in the world or join friends and stuff, find their battles to see exactly what you can get done. But that is Crystal Clash. It isn't beta. Maybe they change things. We'll have to see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time. Get all those rewards.